It's a lazy Saturday in the RV. Ah, that was awful. Just did some chores. Now I'm about to prepare a meal. Okay, it was a lazy Saturday. What can I say? I had to do laundry all day. That's what I did. <clears throat> and then I did the exhaustion of last week of how busy it was after I did the laundry. I took a nap probably about 20 minutes. Do you guys like Trader Joe's? There's not a close Trader Joe's here. This is like the simplified life I live. So they go, oh, organic rice. Throw this in the microwave. Good to go. I'm still asleep. There's, <laughs> there is a stove here and there's gas here too. I don't have the time. The pots and pans for this. I'm out of propane right now. And plus I don't really want to fill it with propane anyways. So I have a hot plate that I'm going to get out and I'm going to cook. The, guess what, Trader Joe's shrimp burgers, folks. Can I just throw that right there? That looks like it's really good. Hey, yeah, dude, those shrimp, these shrimp burgers are actually really pretty good. I'm not going to lie. And there's one left if that tells you anything. Now, here is the trickery that I'm thinking about here. Should I add some of this bell pepper and onions to this mix? I know it sounds crazy, a shrimp burger, jasmine rice, and this. I'm going to try it. I don't care. I don't care. Being a man, this is why I need a significant other in my life. I just, and quite frankly, if it's food, I'll eat it. I don't care. I don't care. I'm just, it's just, I'm hungry. I'm going to make it. It's going to cook it. So first thing first, it's empty. Got to get rid of this. We get rid of this. Boxes. Yeah. And so forgot to put, look at that. There's no bag in the garbage can. Got to fix that. As I'm getting the rice ready, I'm going to debate if I should have this with this. I don't know. It's a weird combination. I don't think I'm going to do that. What else do we have in the freezer? Maybe do asparagus. Yeah, it's probably a little bit better. Now, I don't want to do this because I don't feel like smelling that pee. When you, you drink, when you eat asparagus, you have that, for me at least, I don't know for the rest of you, I can smell asparagus for days. So I'm going to do Green Giants, Cream Spinach, Shred Burger, Green Giant, Jad and Rice, we're good to go. All right, there's a pie plate. I picked this up at some Dollar Tree or something, 20, 20 bucks, something like that. Rice is on, shrimp burgers on, wait for the microwave, clear this, and we are on like Donkey Kong as we eat. The other day too, something, living in an RV, you want to make it home. I've owned, how many homes have I owned in my lifetime? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five, five homes. And with five homes, there comes a time you want to make it homey, like living stationary in an RV, you want to make it home. Might smell like home. So I saw this the other day. I like to burn candles, sometimes incense. But I saw this the other day um, at Publix. So it's hot. So I found a candle warmer. And it's close, getting close to the holidays. And it smells like apple pie in here, baby. Apple pie. And then if I get too bored, I can shoot a little basketball. Don't even know what the basketball is for this. It's missing in action. But yes, we are cooking. I have something to eat now. I feel good and motivated. But the question is, comment down below if you would eat this meal. A shrimp burger from Trader Joe's, jasmine rice from Trader Joe's, and green giant spinach that you can cook in the microwave. Comment down below and say, yeah, I would eat it. I wouldn't hesitate. Or would you say, nah, me? I wouldn't eat that. You're too bougie. You're too bougie. And typically with these YouTube channels, I have to keep it hyper because the only time I'm going to keep you engaged because most of the channels I watch, I get the personality. I'm like, all right, he's mellow. But if I'm too mellow on here and too serious all the time, it's man, come on. This guy is complaining. He's crying, yada, yada, yada. So I try to keep up my tempo with this vlogging and, and, and motivation and, and, and talking and, and doing these things as I continue to cook here. I'm the master chef. 
in the RV. So I'm going to have a nice dinner to myself. But look at this. Look at all the hats. Now, I probably sh should have cleaned up today. That's my computer bag. And that's my computer down there. But all the hats are worn during the week. Should probably clean those up. But since I'm by myself, I should probably straighten up the table a little bit more. All my vitamins I take there. This is a party. When you're in your 50s, party down, baby. At dinner time, I'm going to take my action. Yeah, my Saturday vitamins. That's the highlight of the day. But I got the Bible here, my wallet, computer stand. It's a little messy, but hey, normally, typically what I do, I sit down, eat, turn on the TV, watch something on YouTube. I watch Ron Harry Brown or something uplifting or a bunch of vlogs or a podcast or something. So this is my Saturday nights, but I don't have anything in the books. Ladies and gentlemen, this is living in an RV. Stationary. Exciting. No, but you know what? Seriously? Remember the days I used to go out, you always had to plan and go out and let's go out, let's go do something. And you think about that, but you know, the beauty of YouTube now is like the fact that you can watch all the other people go out as you sit in the comfort of your stationary RV and watch them go out and enjoy them and realize that you're cool. You're in the comfort of where you live. That's what I like right now. But I do miss going out from time to time. But I love my Saturday nights like this because I get to rest, to relax, kick my feet up. I just chill and then go to sleep at a decent hour and get up and get ready for church the next morning. Where does the smell go? It's going this way. Then obviously the oven has a, a fan. Fan goes out here. Smoke goes out to here. Out to here. Out to here if you can hear me. But I'm, I'm thinking about the shrimp burger. I'm thinking about the shrimp burger and I'm thinking... I need some uh, spice to it. And again, I'm just being adventurous. Not sure where this is going to go, but I think I'm going to add some uh, sriracha sauce to it and cook it with some sriracha sauce. Have a little kick. See what it tastes like. Why not? I got a little crazy with it. It's going to be spicy. Woo! Smoke it in there. It's going to be good. I'm going to like it. I know I am. Because you know what? I put love in this meal. You might go, oh my gosh. Look. I know people that don't even try to attempt to cook, but at least I try to attempt. When my kids were smaller, when I was a single dad, when the kids were teeny, I still had to cook. I had to figure it out. There was a time in my life where I could really cook a decent meal. But now that typically by myself, majority of the times now, I can just throw something in there and it doesn't really matter. And just try to at least have greens, a meat, and rice or a potato or something. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Okay, I have some good news and I got some bad news. The good news is... Dinner's ready. Just got to get a couple things. The bad news is the presentation, not so much. Like yesterday, one of the companies that I co-own, we're in a restaurant doing a social media video for food presentation. And literally, this is not a great presentation, but I was busy yapping my jaw. I burnt the shrimp burger a little bit. The, obviously, spinach is good to go, the rice. But the, Hey, a good thing I'm not running a restaurant. I'm just going to cram my face and eat this food. So I'm going to chow down. So this is it. <laughs> going to eat my dinner. Let's take a bite of the rice. A little dry. Not going to lie. Spinach is great. Burnt trim burger. Wow. I'm not going to lie. I could actually... Pretty good with the sriracha sauce cooked into it. That's why it's got a little burnt to it. But not bad. I thought I ruined dinner. Back in my 20s and 30s, I used to drink a lot of soda. I stopped in my 30s drinking soda altogether. But a few years ago, like 2019, I found this company called Sparkling Ice, which is sparkling ice water. And it's uh, zero sugar. And it's got about like, five calories in here. Of course, they're going to say it's filled with vitamins and all that stuff, but they said it's all natural flavors, zero carbs, but it's got some caffeine to it. I try to drink at least two of these a day. I don't go overboard. After that, I drink like water and lemonade, but uh, these are really good. I, I recommend them. They have them in the longer bottle, but if you get them in the cans, it, it, it tastes like a soda carbonated feel. It's so good. And I'm not sponsored by them whatsoever. Wish they would because as much money as I spend with them, because these things are not cheap. It's a Saturday night dinner. And by any means, I'm not 
I keep saying that. I'm saying that as a joke, but actually, I've learned to be accustomed to be by myself, but I do enjoy my time to myself. I can recharge better for what do I have to do for work, being around people. I would say uh, primarily I'm an introvert, but an extrovert when it comes to my job, because I have to be on camera or behind camera and have personality what I'm doing. If I'm to talk radio, I had to have personality. I had to talk. So, you know, a lot of uh, my journey with vlogging now with this is to continue to push me to be an extrovert because it's easy. I can like literally sit down and so watch them on YouTube, spend hours researching something or researching in a book or grab a book, start reading the book and not blink an eye and three hours go by and I'm good. Recharging for me, being by myself helps. That. I do being around people. I'm not going to lie. I do enjoy that. I'm not saying I don't, but I think it's a 50, 50 thing for me, or maybe it's 75% of love being around people and 25% I need to recharge. But I got to eat this meal before it gets cold. Shrimp burger. Take a bite. You want a bite? You want a bite, friend? Go ahead. That was actually good. Stew it away. The dish is done. You got to do that pot, which I don't feel like doing that pot right now. So that pot would probably sit there in that water for maybe tomorrow. A couple other days. I don't know. But what I'll have to do is I have to put this, the hot plate away. Wipe down the countertops and I'll be good to go. It's a wonderful thing to be super busy with your life, but it's also important to find that time to wind down. That's why I take priority to find those moments where I can just unplug and unwind. And that's what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm basically going to turn on the TV, watch some YouTube, get ready for tomorrow morning, get ready for church. And I'm just gonna wind down. And you know, some people have a problem with that. I like really being really busy too. Like with the companies, we've been really busy. Like next week's gonna be a, another busy week with a lot of shoots. But there's no time like finding time to rest because that's important. You gotta have time to recharge your batteries, if you know what I'm saying. And uh, pretty soon I'm gonna have to recharge this battery because this battery is going low on this camera. But anyways, that's pretty much it. I wanna just encourage you guys to is find that time. If you're on the go nonstop, but you might be a traveler in an RV or you might be just working a nine to five and going, find time to unwind, find time to say hello to your loved ones as well and spend some time with them, kiss them, love them, hug them, all that good this stuff. Until then, I'll see you on the next one. Pack it up, pack it in. It's time to begin. It's another edition of Creative on the Bench.